Here is our first question. What we are given is x squared plus 8x plus 6. And we are asked to write it in the form x plus a squared plus b. This is nothing but a vertex form of a quadratic expression. And it can be formed by completing the square method. And hence we are going to consider this function x squared plus 8x plus 6. So we have x squared plus 8x, we leave a space, we write plus 6. To make this a perfect squared, all we have to do is to take half the coefficient of x, which is 8, then we square all. This is equal to half of 8 is 4 and 4 squared is 16. Therefore, we are going to add 16 here. 16 was not here initially, therefore we are going to take it away from here. So we have just compensated. This trinomial is nothing but a perfect square trinomial, which can be factorized as x plus half of the coefficient of x, half of 8 is 4, all squared, then 6 minus 16 is negative 10. And hence, this is what we are asked to compute, where our a is 4 and our b is negative 10. Okay, let us move on to the second question. The second question is almost the same thing. We are given x squared plus 12x minus 1, and we are asked to write it in this form. The same thing, we have x squared plus 12x, leave a space, we have minus 1. We take half of 12, we square that. This is equal to 36 because 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 6 squared is 36. So we add 36 here, we subtract 36 here. This trinomial can be factorized as x plus half the coefficient of x, half of 12 is 6, all squared, then minus 30. 7 because negative 1 negative 36 is negative 37 and hence x plus 6 all squared minus 37 is the same thing as x squared plus 12 x minus 1 which is in this form let us move on to question number 3 Question number three, we are given x squared minus 6x minus 3. We are asked to transform it in this form and hence find the values of a and b. All right, we have x squared minus 6x, leave a space, minus 3. Half of negative 6 is negative 3 squared is 9. So we add 9, we take away 9 here. So this is nothing but x minus 3 all squared minus 12. This negative a is nothing but negative 3, which implies that a is equal to 3. So a is 3. And uh, negative b equal to negative 12, negative b equal to negative 12. This implies that b equal to 12. So we have b equal to 12 and we are done okay, hence we are asked to solve this equation again we can solve this equation by completing the square method we have x squared minus 6x we take negative 3 to the right we have plus 3 now we have x squared minus 6x half of negative 6 is negative 3 squared is 9 so we add 9 here we also add 9 here to the left hand side we have x minus 3 all squared and to the right hand side we have 12. x minus 3 equal to plus or minus square root of 12. x equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 12. And remember that square root of 12 from sword is the same thing as 2 root 3. So therefore, x could either be 3 plus 2 root 3 or 3 minus 2 root 3. Let us move on to question number 4. 
We are also asked to solve this by completing the square method. We have x squared minus 6x plus 2. We take constant to the right. We have x squared minus 6x equal to negative 2. We add the square of the half of the coefficient of x. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. Squared is 9. So we add 9 here. We also add 9 here. To the left hand side we have x minus 3 all squared. And to the right hand side we have 7. x minus 3 equal to plus or minus the square root of 7. x equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 7. So this is our solution. x could either be 3 plus square root of 7 or x equal to 3 minus square root of 7. Number five. Number five reads Georgina writes an expression x squared plus bx plus q by the completing the square. She correctly obtained x minus five all squared plus that one. We are asked to find the values of p and q. All we have to do is to simplify this. We have x minus five all squared plus that one. First time squared x squared plus second time squared 25 minus 2 times x times 5 is 10 x then plus 31. This is the same thing as x squared minus 10 x then 25 plus 31 is 56. Then we are going to relate it with x squared plus px plus q x squared plus px plus q from here you can see that p is negative 10 so p is negative 10 and q is 56 and we are done number six number six we are asked to write x squared minus 3x plus 7 in the form x plus a squared plus b number seven we are asked to write this in this form this time around you can see that the leading coefficient is three not one so we write this as three x squared plus 18 x together minus one from here let us factor out three inside we have x squared plus six x Leave a space for a number, then we have minus 1. Half of 6 is 3, and 3 squared is 9, so we add 9 here. But what we need to subtract is 3 multiplied by 9, which is 27. So we remove 27 negative here. Alright, so this is 3 in bracket, we have x plus 3, half of 6, all squared, then minus 28. So this is what we are asked to find. Where A is 3 and C is negative 28, B is also 3. Question number 8, it says use the completing the square to find the minimum point of the curve. Minimum point is that point where the curve takes a turn. Okay, let us use the vertex form as well. We have x squared minus 6x leave a space then plus 1 half of negative 6 is negative 3 squared is 9 so we have plus 9 then minus 9 this is x minus 3 all squared then minus 8 therefore the minimum point is x comma y equal to 3 comma negative 8 all you have to do is to set this equal to 0 that is x minus 3 equal to 0 which implies that x equal to 3 this is why we have 3 here and at that coordinate y equal to negative 8 and the last question it says we should use completing the square to find the minimum point the same question 
we have x squared plus 4x plus 7 we have x squared plus 4x half of 4 is 2 2 squared is 4 then we remove it from the other side and this can now be factorized as x plus half of 4 is 2 all squared plus 3 therefore the coordinate at that point x and y will be equal to if you set this to be equal to 0 you have x equal to negative 2 and y equal to 3. negative 2 comma 3 is the minimum point on the graph and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye